in this video, we'll be talking about how to make floor grid tiles that are sewer themed for use in the Terreno adventure, The Fugitive, a frantic chase through cursed sewers. And this is an adventure you can get right now at patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And it comes complete with a full adventure and build instructions to make the corresponding Terreno. So let's get started. So to make the sewage pattern on the grid tiles, we're going to take and roll on a uh, tinfoil stone texture, and then we're going to add some neon yellow paint. I'll have a link to this in the, at the Game Gear Master online store and within the Terrain Adventure as well. But we just want to paint that all over a pretty large piece of foam board because we're going to use a bunch of this to make the squares that are going to represent the sewage river on our grid tiles. Then I mix up some quick coat, which is equal parts, paint, tight bond, original wood glue and water. And I use this neon green. And I'm going to kind of splatter this on to the foam board sheet after the yellow paint has uh, dried. Then I'm going to use gravity. I'm just going to use gravity to make that thin quick coat mixture run on the sheet to kind of give it the impression of a uh, current, like there's a direction to this flow of sewage. And once all that's dry, I'm going to add some lines of hot glue to kind of give it a little bit of dimension, to kind of give it some depth and some translucency. And after that, I take some full strength green neon paint. I just kind of gently stroke that over the hot glue lines that I made. You can't really go wrong with this. Just you can put as much or as little on as you want. Uh, you just kind of want to kind of give it a little bit of more depth with that green. And as a final touch, I'm going to use Realistic Water. This is a great product. I'm not endorsed by them, but this is a really great product to add depth and glossiness to things. It's used on like model railroad setups and dioramas to simulate water. And we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, where normally you would pour Realistic Water into a cavity to make water, we're going to brush it on and we're going to get a similar effect. Uh, it just makes it really nice and glossy and it gives a nice depth. You'll also notice that I tinted it with a little bit of neon yellow and that helps too. And that helps to bring that depth and, uh, and color alive too. On my train of setup, I ended up using modular floor tiles. You don't have to do that. You can just make a regular grid tile out of the Trino Basics Construction Manual and then put this uh, sewer river finish on the squares where the sewer river is and then just use a stone finish like you normally would on a basics tile on the other squares so this is a new terreno piece it bridges the gap between one chunk of terreno and another one so you actually have a playable surface where you would have normally just had a grid square border so you can actually in the case of the sewer setup you can use it as a bridge across the sewage river and, and another set of squares that your players can play on. We we'll start by gluing two pieces of textured foam together. This is going to make one of the sides and the top of the uh, connector piece. And just kind of rough cut it to, to length. This is longer than you're going to need. We're going to trim it down later. Then take four sheets of foam board. When we're going to use those four sheets of foam board as a spacer to set the width of the connector. Then just glue on another piece of textured foam using those four sheets of foam board as spacers. And once that's dried, you can remove the spacers. Then we're just going to trim it to size. Now, if you've made clip-ons in the Castles and Catacombs man manual, you're familiar with depth cutters. If not, you're going to want to check that out. Um, we're going to use a depth cutter right now here to cut the depth of the of this connector. So we're going to use a single depth cutter, single sheet depth cutter, then add a sheet of foam board to the bottom so it's the right height to cut down uh, those protruding pieces. 
So this is going to make a connector that has a single sheet of foam on top and then has little bits of foam hanging down that are one sheet thick. And that's what we're going to use to put onto the edge of the two uh, chunks of Torino to connect them together. And this will make a nice little walkway in that transition area. So you'll notice I trimmed the length of these connectors so they fit well in between the sewer pipe walls. Just want to say a big thank you to the supporters on Patreon, uh, especially our architects, Brian Yao, William Dellinger, and Don Sol X. Apologies if I mispronounced your names. Become a patron today and you will get this adventure as part of your Master Craftspersons or Architects membership. Uh, so go to patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back. No questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trano products, go to Patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master.